Hey, hey, hey. I hope that you all are having a good day and I pray that this word reaches whoever it needs to reach and that peace will begin to overtake you, overtake your mind, overtake your spirit and flow down in your heart and to let you know that God is for you and not against you. Therefore, the weapons being formed against you can't prosper. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. So God wanted me to come on today to tell someone that, well, not to tell someone, to tell many that are going through a point in time of heavy spiritual warfare, that God is taking action. Although you can't see it, you know, and you may not be able to, to feel it, or you may be feeling it and not fully understanding what's taking place. Because remember, there's a battle that's taking place and it's unseen, but it's happening. You can feel it. You can feel the shaking. You can feel, you know, the movement, but, you know, and, and, and it, it, it's even messing with your emotions, but know that God is getting ready to bring it to an expected end. He wanted me to tell you today that he is causing treachery to rise up into the homes of the wicked until that which they have formed against you be made whole. This fight that you're going through, again, I can't stop saying this enough. It goes deeper than just you because, you know, there were generations before you, you know, in your bloodline that was defeated. And remember, well, one thing that I know that God has, has allowed me to be able to see is that God always raises up one who is going to be the breaker of those chains and those bonds that the enemy tried to, to, to lay hold onto all of the bloodlines. But God has an expected end unto it. Trust God. God is going before us on today and he is dismantling the weapons. He is causing the enemy to be so caught up in their own situations to where they will not be able to concentrate and to continue to, to place hold on your life any longer. It's going to overtake them so to where it's going to defeat the wickedness that they have displayed and, and they have done and, and placed on you most of your life. Some of you all have been battling since you, before you were even born in your mother's womb, the wicked tried to destroy you, but it was the strong tower that came kept you. It was God's hand that was for you and not against you. He has been showing you this time and time and time again. Now is the time. Now is the hour that we begin to open our eyes and awaken up in the dawn and begin to praise God for the victory that is ahead. God woke me up early this morning and I just begin to praise him spiritually, physically, most just in any way that I can. I just wanted him to know that I appreciate him for everything that he is doing, you know, for the seen and the unseen. Know today that you can rest and you can have peace in the hand of God, just knowing that he is comforting you and he is for you and not against you. Just hearing those words, that should be enough for you. That should give you more fight to be able to rise up on today and to carry on, holding on to God's unchanging hand. That means when everything in your life seems to be falling apart, when everything in your life does not currently make sense, you can hold on to God's unchanging hand, knowing and trusting that it is by that that by doing that you will be steady even when you feel the, the 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 harsh winds and the storms that try to encompass your life know that you have the strong tower with you and whatever is trying to take you out it can't and will not prosper. God is a God of his word. Learn to make him enough. You know, we don't have to continue to search throughout the world looking for people to, to, to 
to give us what God is willing to give us right now, which is love and understanding and patience. And, and he will not leave us. Even when the battle gets rough, you know, you got some people that'll say, I love you and I'm here with you and I'm for you. And as soon as the, the weapons of war rise up in your life, they gone. But God is with you. He's for you, not against you. And he will not leave you. God is the God of his word. God is a God of truth. And if he's, if he's chosen you, if he's called you forth in anything, you've got to know that, you know, what you see may before you may look like defeat, but if God has told you and he's promised you some things, you got to raise up on today and say, God ain't finished with me yet. This battle coming against me is not about to take me out. The, the, the wages of war coming against me, I'm going to overcome because the strong tower is in the midst of me. And by him not being done, I still must carry on because God is a God who, who not only speaks, we got to understand that God's, God doesn't just speak. He takes action. It might not always be <clears throat> when we feel that it should be, but one thing I can say is there has not been a, there has never been a time there has never been a time that God has told me that he was going to do something and he didn't see to it coming to pass. And I'm telling you, I, I remember trying to, to rush God's hand. God, I need you to do this right now. I'm telling God, God, I need you to do this for me right now because um, I'm tired of waiting and you see this and you looking at this and you see these people trying to come put me out and you see these people trying to cut my lights off and you see these people, my water bill need to be paid. I'm talking about talking to God and I ain't had a bit of what I was talking about. I'm telling y'all, I didn't know what the heck I was talking about or what I was asking for. And I'm telling y'all right when I need needed it the most. God released it. I thought I was in the midst of a rumbling water that was just getting ready to overtake me. But being in the hands of God, how many need to know on today, my precious children, God is saying, many of you need to know on today that when you are in the hand of God, time does not speak in your life. Time does not have control over your life. When you are in the hand of God, everything that concerns you is in his hand. Even though the enemy tries to make you feel rushed, God is your stay. Make that enough. God is your ticket. Make that enough. God is your peace. Make that enough. I don't care what the enemy is trying to whisper. Wave it out. <clears throat> Hear me when I say you can wave your troubles away. Just begin to wave your troubles away and to trust God and his dismantling on today. This is not a battle we need to fight, but we do have to learn how to nourish the things that God is placing in us today. And when I say nourish the things, I'm, I'm speaking in reference to peace, joy, Okay, how many of us need that peace? Because the, the things that has been forming against us has been trying to cause us to lose our minds. How many of us need joy? Because we've been in a place of mourning for so long, waiting for God's hand to take place in our lives. These things God has made available to you and it is yours for the taking. But when you take it, you have to learn how to nourish it, how to keep it watered so that it can continue to grow and over overflow the cup of joy and your peace will begin to overflow just like the oil that God is pouring in the cup for many of his children on today. You know, you've got to learn how to take hold and nourish it and nourishing it. You, you, you know, what I like to do is I, I, pray, I praise, and I worship, and I read the Word of God, but I not only read the Word of God, but I find scriptures. I allow God to, to lead me to scriptures that speak to me in that time, and I take 
hold, I lay hold of those scriptures and I let them be written by the hand of God unto my heart. And that is what keeps me going. That is what keeps my peace growing unstoppable. That is what keeps my joy flowing unstoppable. You know, a lot of people miss that in the wilderness. You know, there may be a time that you're going through where you feel like it's so tough, but you got to begin to open your spiritual eyes on today and begin to see that you might not have everything that you want in the natural, but, you know, begin not to to, to miss the, the things that God has made available to you. You may be somebody that's been crying all your life and here God has dried up your tears and you telling God, God, you haven't done nothing for me yet. You know, missing those little things, missing those little things in the eyesight of God, it begins to look like, you know, we are ungrateful. We must be grateful for everything that God opens up, rather small or big, be grateful. Because when God's hand comes through and he blesses you, he will not bless those that overlook short Comments. You cannot overlook those short comments. You have to be mindful of them. The enemy will play with your mind and cause you to miss things that God has surely done. And it might have been a prayer that you made years ago. Don't overlook that. And on that day when God brings mighty victory, come back and say thank you. Show God appreciation. You know, when he brings you out of homelessness, come back and show appreciation when he heals your body. Come back and show appreciation when he heals your broken heart. Come back and show appreciation when he heals your mind. Come back and show appreciation when he showed you that the many weapons formed against you began to be dismantled. This is happening in this time right now. God is rising up in the midst of his people and he is taking hold of the things that are trying to cause us to be shaken and dismantling them right now in the spiritual realm. Some things you will begin to see in the natural realm, but you will Miss it if you don't begin to, to open your heart and your eyes to the spiritual things as well. How can we see the things in the natural with understanding if we overlook the spiritual? Okay, so God needed somebody to hear that. So I said it. Oh, Lord, I feel you lighting me up on fire right now, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I receive everything that you are opening and making available unto me, Father God. I thank you, Jesus, right now for being in the midst of your children and keeping them and protecting them, Father, watching over their minds, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father God, that the weapons formed against us are not able to prosper, mighty God. I thank you, Father God, for leading the people to the place of healing ministry. Lord, so that they can receive just that their healing, Father God. You are here in the midst of your people, O oh Lord. Just have your way. Begin to go before your people and answer their prayers, O oh God. Father God, for it is by your hand, Lord, that we live, God, and that we are able to move forward and prosper in this world, Father God. So, Lord, let us keep our minds stayed on thee, Father God, so that everything that we are needing on today can begin to take place. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen, and you all be blessed, my loves.